In this example, we're going to find a minimal spanning tree. So this graph that we're given shows a network of roads between some towns in Nevada. The roads shown on the graph are unpaved, and the weights represent the length of each road. Which road should be paved so that there is a path of paved roads between every pair of towns, and the total length of paved road is as short as possible? In other words, we're looking for a minimal spanning tree. A spanning tree so that they're all connected by paved roads. You could find a paved path from any one city to another. And we want to use the minimal total length, so we're looking for a minimal spanning tree. So to do this, we're gonna start by adding the shortest length that we can without creating a loop. Because if we create a loop, we no longer have a tree, but we'll add the shortest length we can at each step. So we'll start with the shortest length that we see, which is 10. So we'll add this first road here. And then there's a 12, we'll add that. The next shortest, there are two 20s, so we'll add both of them. Again, no loops exist yet. Then we see a 21 and a 23. The next shortest is 25, and there are several of those. If we added this one here, notice that we would have loops now. So we're not gonna add that one. And if we added this one here, we would also have loops. So we won't add that one either, but we will add this one up on the northeast side. The next shortest length is 30, but if we added that, we would now have a loop here. So we won't add that one. Then the next shortest is a 35, so we'll add that one. Then if we added this 40, again, we would have loops here, so we won't add that one. The next shortest is a 45, which brings us out here. And then the next shortest is a 55. And at this point, we've connected all the cities. If you notice, they're all connected, and any other edges we added would start to create loops. So we have the minimal spanning tree, and we can draw it a little bit more carefully here. That's the minimal spanning tree for the graph that's given. It's possible to have more than one minimal spanning tree, several trees that tie for a total distance. In this case, there's only one, but it's possible to have several that tie. But here's an example of one spanning tree for this graph, and it turns out to be the minimal one.